When you edit images in Corel Paint Shop Pro, you often need to choose a color before painting, drawing, filling in, or making manual color corrections. The Color page in the Material Properties dialog box is the most versatile tool for choosing colors, especially if you're building a custom color palette, and the All New Color Harmonies option will allow you to choose colors that look great together. So let's get started. First, open Paint Shop Pro into the Edit Workspace and create a new image. Now if you're already a Paint Shop user, the first thing you're going to notice here in X7 is the drastic difference in the New Image dialog box. With speed and efficiency in mind, the New Image window has been redesigned to be intuitive to your needs, with dozens of templates and settings available, as well as the ability to save presets. It makes the creative process fast and easy. So in this example, I'd like to select a Facebook cover as the image type, so I'll just click on Social at the bottom here, and then Facebook cover from the list. Now I think I'd like to make a higher resolution than this. Well, no problem, I'll just click here and increase it. Let's go with 150 dpi for this one, and click OK. So now we have the image open, it's time to select a background color. The color page appears when you click either the foreground stroke properties, the background fill properties, one of the two smaller color boxes, or it can also appear when you click on the color box found in one of the other dialog boxes. I'll just click here and then select a color that I want to use as a background. Now that my background color is selected, I'm going to need to choose other elements that appear on the page. This is where color harmonies come in. First, double click on the color that you've just chosen. This will launch the Material Properties window. And then, by clicking on one of the following color harmony settings, Paint Shop Pro helps you choose multiple colors that look great together. So we can choose from complementary, triad, tetrad, analogic, or accented, and uh, the mono setting is the default setting, and that's for a single color. So take a look at what happens here when I select accented. Now, I have a group of colors to choose from, and I don't have to worry that any of them will clash. To test out the different color harmonies, I can simply drag the color indicator in the color wheel to adjust the colors. The associated color swatches will appear in the lower left-hand corner of the color page, and to use them, I can just click on a swatch and then choose Add to Palette. So it's also important to note that if you're just starting out and you don't already have a palette that you're working with, it's going to warn you right here that you need to create one. And that's a good thing because you want to stay organized. So I'll call this one Facebook Cover, and now I can save all of these swatches to that palette for my project, just like so. The new color palette will appear in the swatches section of the materials, and I'm good to go. So now I'm all set and ready to create faster than ever before, and it's all thanks to the new color harmonies in Corel Paint Shop Pro X7. And as always, visit learn.corel.com for tons of video and written tutorials, contests, tips, ebooks, and more.